But what I wanted to ask you about was, um, you know, you, you're such an expert on grey hair, mm -hmm. aren't you? You've, you've become... I've been hair a long you, time. <laughs> <laughs> you have. But you sent grey-haired models down a catwalk mm -hmm. somewhere. Jean-Paul Gaultier. Yes, a, so long ago, yeah, and it like was such a nine sensation. Nine or ten years ago. Yeah, absolutely. And we all, as beauty writers, had to rush about yeah. and say, oh, can grey hair be cool? And the answer is yes, particularly if you know how to do it, like you do. And since then, grey has been a kind of a colour option to play with, really, mm -hmm. hasn't it? So I get a lot of questions about, you know, if you are a middle-aged woman and you're thinking about going grey, how do you, how do you, excuse me, how do you do it without just the awfulness of letting it all grow through and cutting it off? How do you manage it? I mean, that's a really good question. Um, and I think it's something that can't be answered in one specific. Sure, because so, I mean, it depends on, on what's well, going on in yeah, your mind. Yeah, I mean, anyway, ultimately, I don't think it's, uh, you know, for me, the people that I talk to about going grey are all ages. So it's not like a middle age okay. quest for me. I mean, I started okay. to get my first grey hairs when I was in my 20s. Did you? So there's a yeah. lot of people that are uh, seeing the first greys and mm -hmm. thinking, should I actually colour it? Or, yeah. Um, and, and so that group, it's a very different story than let's say you've been colouring your hair brown and then you want to grow the colour out. Okay. So the darker, you, you know, the colour that you are, um, it's generally more difficult to blend in or to transition to grey. Yes. So if you're, if you're colouring your hair brown and mm -hmm. you, you get a regrowth and you really want to start to develop the grey coming through more as, a, um, as an accent, it's quite challenging because you've generally got quite a lot of old tinted brown hair For sure. that one has to get rid of. Okay. That situation, I always say the same thing, no pain, no gain. Okay. Because you have so, to start to bleach out the tinted brown hair. Okay, so you've got to take all that out. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to take it all out, you can take bits out. Okay. Um, I never generally bleach the whole head. I would mm -hmm. never strip. Um, I, think, I think you end up looking as fake as you would do if you were, okay. if you were brown. Yeah. Uh, trying to let grey grow in. Right. So for me, there, so, are, there are three pockets. Yeah. There's, you've got a little smattering of grey and you don't know whether to start colouring, you don't want to create a regrowth, or you've, you've been colouring to blend in a smattering of grey hair, that's much easier to deal with. Yeah. Because you can actually just weave in some little bits of grey that start to... a bit more. Exactly, yeah, start okay. to kind of let your own grey mm. colour develop into being a, okay. um, you know, a feature of your hair rather mm. than something that, that you're trying to cover. Yeah. Uh, there's then the person that's maybe been colouring their hair for quite a long period of time. The lighter you are, so blondes, it's much easier to transition. Because can you go sort of through ashy you to... Can, you can just weave in again yeah, a few okay. highlights, lift it all up, make it a cooler blonde, and you're, you're yeah. transitioning already. Okay. The darker the base, the more difficult. So mm. that, for me, is a... I mean, we do that a lot. Yeah. Um, I think there's a real current vogue for... Uh, people not wanting to look heavily coloured, heavily brunette. Yeah. Um, within that category, you've really got to start to look at skin tones as an end result colour. Okay, and does that then affect the kind of the shade of grey that you are going to try and Absolutely. work towards? Because yeah. it can be everything from steel through yeah. to silver. Totally. And... I mean, the, okay. generally the dark, I mean, it's very difficult to generalise because mm. with the skin tone and eye colour, you're one's wanting to create something that looks individual. Yeah. But a, a rule of thumb is the darker you are in skin tone, mm -hmm. the more of a blue, grey, or a, 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 a very pigmented grey. Yeah. So a, a slate grey, a blue, a okay. violet grey. I've never thought of this huge palette of colour within grey, like there's a lot. Grey is endless. Yeah. Mm. It's like, mm. the, you know, I mean, it's a combination of black and white. Yes. So that, you know, so actually the way artists work, they always yeah. work with a grey scale to start with. Okay. So it's figuring out depth and yeah. shadow and you can use all of those principles when creating grey hair. Okay. Um, but yeah, a, a real simple tip is the darker one's skin tone, 
generally you need a, a grey that isn't a platinum grey or a oh, silver so grey. You need a darker, a slightly darker grey with more pigment okay. in it. Okay, and greys with more types of tone in it, I, I, I wonder, yeah. because I've, I've seen some um, friends like Nicola de Furley yes. you know, with her yeah. silver style pages, and they're amazing, yeah. there's yeah. several lots of grey in there, but it looks wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Jumping onto the third bucket is somebody that's a hundred percent grey okay. or white mm. because actually, yeah. grey hair is white. It's mm, pigmentless. Yes, it's just lost the pigment. Yeah. Mm. When you feel grey and a bit dowdy is when you've got a mix of let's say your own brown colour mm -hmm. with some of the the grey non-pigmented hair. Okay. So when you end up a hundred percent grey yeah. or white, Judy Dench yeah, yeah, yeah. for instance, yeah. mm. then you can really play. Okay. Because and, and that's, how, sorry. Well, that's yeah. like having a white piece of paper. You can make it any colour. You can okay. play into pastel greys or yes. pinky grey, yes. a violet um, grey. Um, yes, pink. exactly. So. so it really depends how grey you are yes. as a starting point that is going to uh, depict the end result that you can get. Okay. The difficult bits in the middle when you are, you've got 50%, 60%, 70 sure. grey, and you've been colouring your hair brown, mm -hmm. that's difficult to remove the brown, yeah. uh, the, 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 the brown tint, the brown dye. It's much easier to uh, bleach or lift natural pigment than it yeah. is a tinted or dyed pigment. Okay. Very yeah. hard to remove know. that. The stuff that has been dyed yes, in? Yes, over, and over, wow. over and, over and over and over. Okay, particularly by the time it's got down to the end. Yeah, because then your hair is quite then, old, you've yeah. maybe colored your, you know, if yeah. you're colouring your hair every four to six Goodness. weeks. That's been done 10 to 12 times a year. You might have had that piece of hair on your head for five years. That's a lot of sure. colour that's gone on top of your hair. So there might be an argument in that case for quite a drastic cut yeah, to go I mean, along with it. Yeah, I mean, one of the, you know, the, the easiest ways to get rid of unwanted brown hair yeah. colour is to <laughs> chop it, it off. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and um, what was I going to ask? Something about... Um, Managing it well, obviously you need somebody to hold your hand through this process. Yeah. Much easier if you've got got a guiding a guiding yeah. aesthetic eye on this rather than trying to do it yourself. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessary unless you're very blonde mm -hmm. and you want a kind of Scandi pale platinum silver. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It can be achieved at home because you can use toners, but the middle sure. bit, virtually impossible. Yeah, really hard. It, we, okay. Because also as well, you you need to create a colour. You need to be colouring the hair in the same pattern that you're graying. Mm -hmm. You know, most people grey here first. Well, like, you don't, on see the, don't see the, the rest of it. But yeah. um, it needs to have a, a, a very subtle approach in relationship to the quantity of colour that you're putting into the hair. Okay. And the maintenance, yeah, anything, all those wonderful, you know, greying, silver, violet shampoos and conditioners, I, uh, you know, masks, Anything with a bit of violet undertone will help to neutralise any yellow. To pull out the yellow. Okay, yeah. I'm um, well. I would only use those in, in in the context of sort of blonde hair and dyed dyed blonde hair as well. Yes. So I'm never quite sure about them. But you don't want to overdo it with the violet ones, do you? Um, well, or with silver hair, is it? Grey. It's you know it's. It's not like you've processed your hair, so blonde okay. hair is already processed, yes. so it's yes, porous. Yes, yes. <laughs> Grey <laughs> chemistry lesson is one of their big ass. Grey yeah. hair, yeah. if it's if it hasn't been coloured, yeah. um, is less susceptible to porosity. So it doesn't, okay. you know, on some blondes you can Internet. you can yeah. quite see there's a, a violet a hue, but on yeah. grey hair, not yeah. so much. And I, you know, I don't know, maybe it's my age, but I'm yeah. I quite like that Mrs. Slocum me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like blue yes, rinse it's, kind of. It's really, I mean, there is, there is you know, grey hair is a, is a positive, fashionable choice yes. now, isn't it? It's not, it's it's not a colour. like a... It's become a colour. A, a, a sort of the thing that time forgot. It, it has become a colour, yeah. Also, I think in England, specifically, we're slightly turning back the dial on that kind of, she's let herself go. Yes. Um, you know, yes. I think it's being embraced. I think, you know, you know, you know I see with my clients... Um, you know, it's not a, it's not a negative. It's, it's not something that's going to, you know, make them look or feel older in the workplace, for instance. Yeah. I think you need to have a pretty dynamic hairstyle, and makeup and needs to be taken do into. Do the makeup and the yes. clothes and the styling, so it's a, it, it, it's clearly something you have it's taken charge of. It's totally. a statement. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So you want it to have gloss. You want it to have vibrancy and colour. And you want it to look like it's maintained, and then yeah. I mean, I think I think natural grey hair that looks, you know, really hydrated, shiny, sleek, 
I think it, it's it's actually really powerful as a mm -hmm. color. Um, you know, I've got you know several clients that really use that as a tool to kind yeah. of have, you know feel much more authentic with themselves. Okay, you're making it sound really attractive because I was a bit <laughs> tempted in the summer because I put up a picture of how grey my roots had gone just before I had it sort of re-blonded a couple of months ago, and the number of people who came back saying preferred the grey and I thought oh actually maybe I should have gone for it but then I feel once I go grey there'll be no coming back from that. Oh there is you can go blonde really? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I mean I mean you, <laughs> maybe just cut you it know, knowing you yeah uh, you know you are a blonde mm. I mean all the years Thank I've you. known Although you, you are you a have blonde. made me look very good mousey <laughs> dirty grey yeah grey dirty but mouse yeah I, you know, I think with your eye colour and skin tone, you're much happier in okay. those kind yeah. of vanilla, sun-kissed, soft. Yeah. You need a little bit of very pale gold in your hair, I think, for you to feel so, you. But I could move that into into With your eye colour, you could definitely not transition too into... I think I need a bit more makeup the whole time. I think, I think when you, you want to get the skin to look yeah. really great, not like it's gone pale and flat. Well, I think, I think it's like both ends of the scale. Somebody that has their hair tinted black, quite similar to, to being grey you just yeah. need more color on your face yes. when you become yeah. you know my hair's colorless yeah so one you know you've got to kind of slightly have a healthy glow mm -hmm. as you say i think it can all yeah. look a little bit london gray yeah more yoga we'll talk about Sending that later hair, yeah. <laughs> josh thank you so much Pleasure. absolute delight and i think it'll be really helpful for a lot of people Great. so very kind of you to give me the time okay thanks